What's up, my friend? I love this Miss Fina D coming to you all from Vina Timid Eels. Thank you all for 19k subscribers. For those of you who heard me say in the last video I did on Kenya Moore or the ladies from the Red House of Atlanta, basically that you know I'm sure that some some of you come here, you visit the channel daily, you like what I do. However, have not clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Um, thank you for getting you know me to 19k and like i said i was looking forward to hitting 20k before 2019 but it's okay we can still do it in 2019 and do more um great things in 2019 i hope all of you had an amazing christmas um i had a great time and yeah so let's go ahead and talk about brooklyn okay so uh, kenya moore basically posted this cute video right here on Brooklyn's page. So there you go. For those of you who are wondering what I mean, but Kenya um, did not post this on her page. I follow her. I did not see this. Don't forget that Brooklyn have her own page, okay? She's fancy. She grown. <laughs> she have her own social media page. So Kenya Moore posted that video on Brooklyn page. And she went ahead and captioned, Mommy said I have the hiccups, hee hee, hashtag mommy daughter time. And of course, people were in the comments giving her advice on what to do. And you know, the whole old fashioned take a thread from a club and, you know, put in the middle of the head. And all of those different suggestions were flying around for Kenya Moore to go ahead and do for Brooklyn. Um, Kenya also, well, it is Kenya or Mark, you know, because Brooklyn's a baby. But I want to say Brooklyn <laughs> also responded on uh, telling supporters thank you for the gifts that they sent. Kenya Moore had a personal and private one, but she also had a public um, baby registry, you know, and Team Twirl came through and sent her amazing gifts so you know brooklyn took time yes i'm gonna say brooklyn did it <laughs> and basically thank you for all of your gifts were one of the comments that you know she left all right and so of course same old different day people just talking about you know people just responding about how beautiful and adorable brooklyn look the cutest ever baby girl you just don't know how much the word pray for you prayed for you and your mama to see your little face is proof of god's provision oh that's amazing and brooklyn responded with a pretty hand emoji um breastfeeding worked best for my daughter's hiccups I love my mommy's milk. <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, yeah. Huh? Child, listen. I be ignoring the negativity. And so when I saw these two comments right here, I thought these people were going in on a child. But apparently, I came late to the party. And this Samantha person wrote something disrespectful about Brooklyn because so far I have not seen the comments. But these two responses about edges and the head and all of that, I was just like, oh, okay. God is the glory. Let your fate be greater than your fear. Okay, so um, I want to really read what she wrote. For these people to go in on her, why are you being so hateful? She is just a baby. You don't like Kenya, don't follow her, nor her baby. People should stop the hate. She could care less of your hateful, nasty opinion. Girl, bye. They need to block all these crazies. It looks like Kenya blocked her. I'm really curious to see what she said. And, you know, it'd be the ones who be having all the scriptures in their bio that be going in. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, I've read some nasty comments. Um, 
and by Brooklyn it's just sad that um, people will do that and like I said I show up I showed up late to the party but I was about to be like what the heck why are these two people right here going in on the child but they're actually responding to the hateful comments that that person who talking about God in their bio left about Brooklyn and that comment it looks like she also you know was blocked and the comment was deleted so I came late to the party and I'm not going to say too much because I didn't get to see what that person wrote so I can't just you know go in <laughs> on that but most gorgeous baby omg she's beautiful she's everything and so on and so forth okay i'm going to go up and down a little bit more to see but yeah i don't see what that person wrote and like i said it looks like they were probably blocked and their comments were deleted but Team Twirl, I see you. Ooh, I got nervous. I was like, are they talking about the child? Nah, they were talking about the person. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on from this video. So after that, Kenya posted this adorable picture of Brooklyn and her daddy. <laughs> they two sleepy peas in a pod. Kenya Moore, Brooklyn Doris Daly, Mark Daly, okay? and uh, this picture is just precious and just everything okay oh can you look at your babies you are a winner girl she is god is amazing brooklyn you are so beautiful and this person man your daddy's your daddy's girl already heart melting how you sleep when you at peace with yourself and life itself amen beautiful little girl but it does not look nothing are you serious? I get happy tears every time I see your Brooklyn. So happy for you. My Brooklyn is also born. Oh, okay. This comment right here that I copied um, a while ago. Look at this person comment on a picture of Kenya Moore and Nini Leaks. I hate both of you fake B word, hope you die giving birth, Kenya. Let's see what she had to defend. Wow, such hateful words from a female. Shame on you. Disgusting human being to wish death on her. Such hateful words. It's entertaining to watch the show, but remember, these people are getting paid. Let's keep the nastiness on the screen. There's all no need for us fans to take it personally. We don't really know these people. Somebody's life is so miserable that they have to wish death on someone. Girl, turn off the TV from that fake reality and get your life. Pathetic. I didn't even go and insult you. You are just disgusting inside and out. As if you will live on this earth forever. How could such a human being think evil like that? What you wish for Kenya will be your portion. The Bible said what you think for someone will come upon you. May you receive that. Nini and Kenya Moore from the last reunion. Exactly how things have changed, right? But this is the comment that someone left under this picture, okay? Right there, wishing death on a child. So even though I came late to the party and couldn't see what that semantic person wrote. I'm sure it was disgusting to lead Kenya or Mark to delete that comment or for that person to be blocked. It's one thing to give your opinion. There's nothing wrong with that. Hey, you know what? I'm not here for this person, whatever. But some people just go so low, so nasty. Yes, this is another human being, okay? Wishing death on the mother and her unborn child. But to God be the glory, Brooklyn is here, healthy. Kenya is here and healthy and all of that. So that's how nasty it gets. It is never, it will never be that bad or be that serious for me to ever go that low towards someone that 
I've just seen on TV. And regardless, even if it's someone you knew personally, it is never that deep to go that low and wish death on anybody. But just to show you guys how extreme it gets and how nasty. And there are a lot of times when I do these videos, I skip it. I will, if I'm doing the screen recording, the comment session, I will, you know, skip that part, crop it out, edit it out and all of that because that I'm not about, you know, focusing on things like that. But I just wanted to show because I didn't get to read that person comment, how nasty and disgusting and sad some of these people get. It's crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, my friend. I love. Thank you all for the love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn the notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I posted. And I will see you all in the comment session. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.